Hey there, what's up in it? My name is Black Light Attack. I'm a Dragon Slayer girl, and this is episode 53 of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Last time, we defeated the ever dangerous uh, Emerald Weapon, and this time we're going after his brother, Ruby. So, um, this is fun. I actually just kind of realized the parallel between the Pokemon games, Emerald and Ruby, although they weren't corresponding versions. Emerald is actually the kind of semi-sequel to Ruby and Sapphire. But anyway, I'm going to go over the strategy here for a uh, Ruby weapon. So Ruby weapon has some unique mechanics. Um, if we use Knights of the Round against him, he will counterattack with Ultima and most likely kill our party in one shot. I think if we have M Barrier up, we can kill it. Or, I'm um, sorry, we can survive it. But um, I'm not positive about that. Ultima will often just wipe your party uh, right out. Even with 9,999 HP, I'm not totally sure about whether or not M Barrier will be strong enough to, to uh, prevent it from happening. I guess it also depends on your spirit stat, but anyway, um, we also have uh, Sid and Tifa. I just noticed Tifa is like woefully unprepared. I don't think I really like put anything on her. I'm gonna do the counter attack, long range, uh, HP pluses. Get her all the way up. Okay. Um, so, as you notice, what probably sticks out to you, Sid and Tifa are both, uh, are both dead. <laughs> so why, why is that? Did I just leave them dead after the Emerald fight? No. Um, actually, I revived them and then realized I needed them dead anyway, which is kind of silly, but, um, basically, here's the, here's the strategy. We have fire armlets equipped to everybody, as well as ribbons on Sid and Cloud, and the curse ring on Tifa. I don't really know that, I'm actually going to be experimenting a little bit with this fight, uh, I want to see what sort of strategy I can use to try to kill him more quickly, just for the fun of it. Uh, if it doesn't work, I'll, I'll fall back to some more tried and true strategies. Uh, the reason that Sid and Tifa are dead is because once uh, you have only one character left, he's actually going to stick his uh, his um, tentacles into the sand. He has tentacles on his arms. Uh, he will stick them into the sand immediately. Uh, thus opening him to damage. If his tentacles are not in the sand, then he is basically um, immune to all damage. Uh, so we need to start with these two characters dead. Uh, or uh, just not these two characters specifically, but any two characters. Cloud obviously has his limit break. I can't unfortunately store a limit break in the dead characters because you lose your limit meter when you die. Uh, let's see what else. So with Cloud, we're gonna keep the final, uh, Phoenix final attack materia just in case we fail. He's got a revive all and a restore all, just in case those are needed, as well as an enemy skill. We do have a mind materia up there. We have HP plus. Comet might come in handy, I don't know. As I said, I'm experimenting. Uh, and then double cut, which we may or may not need. Sid has Hades added effect. This is because Hades inflicts pretty much like every status effect in the game. Not every, but most status effects in the game. One of which is paralyze. And uh, that means, uh, actually, Ruby Weapon is susceptible to the paralyze status, which I've mentioned before. Uh, that means that his uh, basic standard attacks could potentially paralyze him, which we're going to be doing a lot, and it's kind of a fallback just in case kind of thing. Um, he also has the Knights of the Round, HP Absorb, uh, W Summon Mime thing, which we used against Emerald. That's going to be another fallback strategy if needed. And then he's got an enemy skill as well. Um, and actually, we'll be W Summoning Knights of the Round and Hades together rather than two Knights of the Round, if we need to, uh, because that will actually paralyze uh, with Hades, etc., etc. Uh, just stop him from countering with Ultima. You uh, cast Knights of the Round for damage, Hades for paralysis, which will stop him from using his counterattack, and then Tifa's got sort of her basic uh, long range death blow added cut thing. That's pretty much all she's here for. Um, if the strategy is executed correctly, the big thing is we're going to be using Dazers, uh, which I farmed a whole bunch of up in the Lost City. You can steal them off of an enemy. Uh, Dazers just paralyze an opponent. You basically just keep hucking them. And uh, that will hopefully lock him down. And I think I'm just realizing I didn't save, so... <laughs> I'm going to have to do all that again. I'm going to have to re reset up my entire team if this fails. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and just see how this ends up working. Um, just wait for him to stick that in there. Stick it in me, boy. Forget I said that. Uh, so there's his tentacles. That's what I was talking about. These guys are nasty. They uh, they use gravity attacks. They use uh, status effects, which is why we have the ribbons. But I believe they're also paralyzed. No, I'm sorry. They're not paralyzed. We paralyze him. I thought they were like part of him technically. But here we go. Life two time. 
I maybe should have just life one to Tifa so she's doing more damage, but I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm probably going to start off with an Omni Slash here. Uh, oh, he's already undazered. Uh, so one thing he likes to do is an attack called Whirl Sand, which is similar to... Wait, did I... Ah, shit. I should have... I should have... Uh... Oh my god, he's still taking no damage. Okay. Hmm. What deals more damage to him? Is it when his... I think it's when his tentacles are retreated he actually takes damage. We'll find out. Oh, Tifa definitely got messed up here. Uh, let's go ahead and White Wind with Sid. Got the dazers going. Unfortunately, it's going to restore Tifa to pretty much like full HP, but let's see. Comet 2 on them. And then we'll uh, do a Death Blow combo on one of them as well. See if we can get him to retreat his tentacles. And if that's really what we want to do, I don't know. Like I said, I'm kind of experimenting. I don't. His, his mechanics are kind of comp. There's a lot of mechanics to remember with this fight. And I'd rather than do all that, I'm just gonna just gonna keep attacking him and see what happens. Uh, throw a dazers at him. I'm basically, just gonna keep locking him down. He does deal just an absolute shitload of damage. And if he decides to just cast Ultima, uh, he's just gonna end end the fight. He's it's just over. Um. There we go, we got the dazers, we got... What do we want? Let's cast Big Guard. Okay. Might as well, right? And then we'll just start Death Blow, added cutting these guys. Ooh, that damage cloud. Ooh, I love it, baby. Oh, she actually attacked Ruby. Why are you attacking Ruby, Sweet Cheeks? Can I not target? Oh, there it goes. Okay, let's see if we can, uh, dazers and then try to get some actual damage on them. See if we can do that. Yep, okay, that did work. Oh, okay, not really. That's not really damages. And the reason this is an issue is because, um... Here comes the big swing! The reason this is really an issue is because, um... He has not as much HP as Emerald, but he has almost as much HP as Emerald. He has 800,000... HP, which is 80% of Emerald's HP, which is still far and away more than, like, the third highest HP enemy, which I would assume is probably, like, one of Sephiroth's forms. But yeah, spoiler, Sephiroth does have multiple forms. But, uh, okay, so it appears that Knights of the Round does ignore his defenses, which is good. And so I'm basically, I think I'm gonna fall back to this strategy and see where this takes me. I mean, I think, I think the answer is this will take me to victory. Uh... But I think, I think the reason for this is because Knights of the Round deals unmitigated damage, um, as does Bahamut. Bahamut's, like, really notable for being, like, if... I think if, if an enemy casts Barrier on themselves, Bahamut will, like, go straight through that. Or in the case of Ruby Weapon, where he, he mitigates all of your damage naturally, it'll ignore that. See, all of my attacks are still doing, like, 6,000, 7,000 damage. And there's no way that at this point in the game, my Knights of the Round would, like, under normal stands, certain normal circumstances, be doing 9,999 with each hit. It's easy to get to that point. I haven't, gr I haven't done any grinding uh, to the point where that's the case. But that's basically what I'm trying to say is Knights of the Round works. And then he's going to uh, also dual cast that with um, Hades, which should reapply the stop status effect, I believe. And then, if need be, uh, well, actually, the, not stop sound effect, paralysis sound effect, but also paralysis, I just recalled, uh, does not reapply to a target that's already under the effects of it. I don't know if we've seen the Hades summon yet. I feel like I kind of fell off on showing you guys all the summons as we got them, because it was just kind of like, I, I never use summons. The animations are so long, and the damage is so high. Like, the damage is really good, but the MP cost is so high um, that you, you start to run out pretty quickly, and I just don't think it's really worth it. Um, so I think we're gonna mine that. Looks like he's still paralyzed. Okay, so I guess this is gonna be the strategy I'm falling back on, because I don't want to be sitting here, uh, just attacking him for, like, a thousand damage all night, so... I'm gonna go ahead and fast-forward this. Okay, now here's where things get interesting. <laughs> so basically, I just... messed up my mime chain, and then, uh... lost, uh, lost Cloud and Tifa. Uh, so I think I mentioned this previously, but Ruby Weapon is really hard because he uses an attack called Whirl Sand, which causes him to, um, it's, it's basically exactly what Mid Grizzalm does, if anybody remembers that, which is, he, uh, he will actually 
remove a character completely from the game, not, uh, obviously not. Wow, does that, is that really unmitigated? Interesting. Okay, am I dead? Got an X potion. That, that claw attack that he used is unmitigated by, uh, by barrier. That's really interesting. Um, oh, he's gonna use Comet too. I think this is probably it for us. Alright, well, he's hanging on. Although, if I didn't have... If I did not have my my uh, M Barry up, that definitely would have been death, I feel like. That eh, would have been close. It did uh, deal about half our life and damage. Um, I think this is it, though. I think this attempt is done. If, if he had left Cloud alive, I think Cloud would have been able to deal damage to him because of the fact that he has uh, Comet 2, and I think Comet 2 is also in mitigated damage. But, I don't know, we'll find out. I, th I think we're done here. I think I'm just not gonna bother with yeah yeah we're definitely done let's just see if this kills just for the fun of it bum, 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 bum. oh he's living oh homeboy's living let's see uh no only about half a limit meter whatever just kill me just kill me i dare you beep let's see if i i'm see i'm not getting any added effect attack so that's it's not really all that good okay all right let's try that again Okay, and that will do it for Ruby Weapon as well. Quite a bit disappointing that for both weapons. I wanted to try out something a little new with both of them. Didn't really have the levels for either, but both of them basically came down to the old Knight of the Round, W Summon, uh, HP Absorb, and Mime combination. Those four uh, things. Actually, I found out uh, partway through that fight that I actually cannot... Uh, or actually could rather, actually could survive Ultima uh, as a counterattack from him, uh, which meant I was free to just continue spamming Knights of the Round in his face as long as uh, the HP Absorb was happening, because the HP Absorb attack happens before the Ultima counterattack, so uh, I was always able to heal myself to full and then survive an attack, and then heal myself to full, survive an attack, etc, etc. So uh, we are now just about ready to go... Uh, to the Northern Cave and finish the game. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be... I would say it's probably uh, one or two episodes. I, I'm guessing it's going to be two episodes after this one. Uh, we have a, a bit more time in this episode, I would imagine, because most of that fight was just going to be fast-forwarded for me. Obviously, that took quite a bit of time, but whatever. Uh, we can go to talk to this guy now again. He says, oh, it's the Earth Harp. Want to trade it for some Master Materia? I'm not being stingy either. I'll give you all three of them. How about it? I'll definitely take that trade, considering the Earth Harp does absolutely nothing for me. Uh, and then boop, 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 boop. It's a three-piece Master Materia set, and it's all yours. Now, I'm actually pretty close to getting the Master Magic Materia myself. Um, but, let's see, I have every Materia, Magic Materia, in my possession mastered after my grind session. Whoa! Boom, Gold Chocobo, which I already have, by the way. It's, it's Chocobo, take it, it's yours. I guess it's time to go on a journey for the souls of my departed friends. Um, what was I saying? I have all of the magic materia in my possession mastered. However, there's, I think, two two or three materia that I actually don't have. One of them can be bought in Cosmo Canyon. Uh, I'm going to name you... I'm going to name him Cheese. Because that's what we just did to all of... <laughs> that's what we just did to the two weapons. We just cheesed them out with, their, with the easiest strategies. Um, once again, one of these days I'm going to go back... I'm gonna play this game, and I'm gonna I'm gonna grind until the hard strategies work. Um, but anyway, uh, shit, what was I just saying? Oh, uh, one of them is in Cosmo Canyon. One of the mas uh, the magic materials I do not have mastered, or I do not have in my possession. One of them is in Cosmo Canyon, I believe, and then the other two are actually in the Northern Cave after the part I was talking about. So I'm gonna fly to Cosmo Canyon just for collector's sake. I just want to go buy this materia. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. It doesn't matter. It's it's not even anything like. Good. I forget what material it is, but it's not anything that's really going to have any purpose or else I would have it, you know? So, anyway, uh, back to the Northern Crater. Doo -doo -doo. And I hope you guys are ready, because this is, as I said, the beginning of the end. 
Uh, we do have to run back through the parts of the crater that I haven't been to yet. Um, I think on the way down, actually, you know what? On the way down, I think I'm going to uh, switch to some characters that I haven't really used all that much, because I definitely have, uh, even though I kind of gave up on showing everybody all the summons in the game, I do have a couple characters that you guys haven't seen their limit breaks. So let's go ahead and do that. I know you guys haven't seen Barrett's last two limit breaks. Uh, I don't think you guys have really properly seen High Wind yet from Sid. Uh, let's see. I don't know if you guys have seen Red 13's limits. I'm not sure. Maybe. We'll do we'll do all of Red 13's level 3's. Might as well, right? Make sure everybody has them. Alright, so we'll set this to level 3. Set Barrett to level 3. And uh, let me get these guys all uh, squared away, equipment-wise, uh, real quick. Okay, so we are pretty much all set here. Uh, decided to kind of shake up my strategies I was using just a little bit. Um, I'm finally done really caring about materia growth, so we are now using everyone's ultimate weapons. Um, let's see, so Barrett and Red13 are our current party members. Barrett's ultimate weapon... Uh, let's see, what does it do? Barrett's ultimate weapon... Oh, uh, the more AP is on all of the, the materia, correct, uh, co correctively, collectively on his, uh, on his weapon, uh, adds to the damage that it has. I don't know where exactly it caps out, but I think this is one of the, uh, one of the items that's subject to the overflow glitch, where basically you just pump so much, so much inf information, so, so much value into a modifier that it basically breaks the game and you can just one shot any enemy. Uh, so I think if you put too much AP onto the weapon, uh, you can end up like it's. I think it's like if it's all mastered, like whatever the highest AP is, like all mastered knights of the round or whatever it is, um, it'll actually like break break the game and just start one shotting everything. I don't think I'm at that point, but I do have a lot of mastered materia on him. Uh, Red 13 is more of a caster, and his ultimate weapon is um, actually kind of counterintuitive to him being a caster because his his weapon is the same as Venus Gospel. Um, so let's see, let's see what kind of damage uh, Barrett is doing. I'm actually quite interested to see. Everybody's got the 9,999 HP because I just have a shitload of HP plus on everyone. And, uh, oh, I should put Fury on Barrett because he's currently covering. All right, so the, we got the 999 and then 999, not only for Death Blow, but also for, um, for, uh, basic attacks as well. Excuse me. Uh, so, let's see. What else, what else do we really have to do here? We gotta, we gotta get some limit breaks going. We got to, uh, I guess we can show off some summons as well while we're on the way. Might, might as well, right? Might as well. Let's get a Hyper on Barrett. Do, do, do. And then... For red, we already we've already seen these. We don't need to see these again. I'm trying to remember what the last thing I really showed was the Leviathan bottom that I showed. Jata or Kyata, I'm not really sure how that's pronounced. Uh, we have not shown, so let's go ahead and check that out. I think I've shown you guys Alexander, which is like the we got that in um, in the uh, in Great Glacier, which is my least favorite area in the game. Uh, that one's always interesting to me. Alexander's such a weird summon giant. Giant castle mech thing that does holy damage for some reason. I, I don't get it. I don't get it one bit. Let's go ahead and get this guy to uh, pop out of his shell here. These gargoyles are just statues until they come out. So Kyata's very interesting. Let's see. I'll give him a little sting. That's nice. Tetra disaster. That doesn't sound bad at all. Oh my goodness. Lightning storm. Gotta watch out. Oh, but the lightning became ice. Explosion turns into fire. What the fuck? Yeah, Kyata's one of those multi-element attacks. It's actually worthless throughout almost the entire game because if the enemy absorbs any one of those, and then finishes off with an earth attack, I believe. If it, if it absorbs any one of those, uh, it will absorb the entire attack, not just like part of it, which makes it... Not very good, in my opinion. Uh, generally speaking, multi-element attacks in this game kind of suck dick. Uh, but that's Kyata for you. Um, it's a giant multi-element pig. I always thought he was pretty cool looking, but... I know we've showed Odin. I think we've shown Leviathan. I'm pretty sure we've shown Titan and Rama. Knights of the Round. Uh, let's see, Neo Bahamut, I think we've shown. Hades we've definitely shown before. Typhoon I haven't showed you guys. And then I think that's actually all of them. I guess we didn't miss as many summons as we thought. And if, if I have missed any of them, if I'm like going through my list of summons and I, I pass one that you guys definitely haven't seen, 
my bad, but uh, I don't think, uh, I, I think I, I will have ended the series long before you guys will see this episode. I will, I will be done recording, uh, so it won't really be possible for me to go back and make any of them up. But there are definitely videos that exist on the internet of like all summon shows. And if you're really, really, really interested in seeing what all the summon animations are, and you're missing one or two of them, you can sh for sure uh, make it up if you want to one of those. Let's go ahead and get these guys out of their shells. Yeah, yeah, and of course you always hit him for zero damage, naturally. Let's go. Oh yeah. Look at that big damage. Big damage of nothing. This is... Everyone has ribbons on, too. This is, like, the most OP shit. Uh, alright, so Typhoon's... It's wind? Uh... Oh, wait. Typhoon deals fire, ice, lightning, and earth magic damage? I always thought it was a wind summon. That's interesting. Alright, please nobody be divisible by four. Oh, okay. Yeah, of course... Of course, Red was hit by that. I do have Final Attack Phoenix on him, though, so... This is always... This is the nice part about having Final Attack Phoenix on. Is when people randomly die to bullshit like that. Phoenix is just like, Nah, you know what? I think I want this guy to still earn XP, so... Suck a dick? You know, I was looking up... I mentioned I wasn't sure how to get a third Mistyle. So the Mistyle is, as I mentioned before, like, basically the best armor in the game, and... I think normally you're only supposed to get two in the run. I don't think speedrunners actually get three as I thought. I think they only get... I think they only get the one, actually. Now that I think about it, I think it's only the one. Um, but the way that's done is um, at this part where everybody splits splits uh, which direction they're going in. Everybody kind of, kind of goes in opposite directions. Um, you send Tifa one way and Cloud the other. Tifa will pick up a missile on the way, but what you want to do is double back. And the items that the characters find for you are actually the items that are along the route they, they travel. So what you do is you send Tifa the way where she'll pick up a missile, and then before you meet up with Tifa, when the, pa when the paths reconverge, you, uh, you go back, you double back to where you sent Tifa, grab the missile that she should have otherwise gotten herself, and then talk to her at the end of the game right before uh, the boss battles start. And she'll give you the third miss style. So. It's kind of a glitch. It's not intended really to be that way. But that's how it is. That's how it is. So I did actually pop my save crystal here. This was when I was doing my grinding. Uh, this is generally a pretty good place to put it. I, I still remember to this day my old strategy guide uh, actually recommended that you put the save crystal here. So uh, I still do to this day. I personally think you can do it a little bit later, but it helps in case you mess something up with this part coming up. So we'll go ahead and do this real quick. I think what we want to do here is uh, send Tifa to the right and Cloud to the left. But I, would, I just want to double check that. Give me one second. Okay, yeah, I was right. So it doesn't really matter who we send where. I'm going to keep Barrett and Red 13 kind of in my party. The road splits into two. We'll split into two groups. What you gonna choose, Cloud? All right, so we are going to go left. All right, then I'll go left. Tifa, where you're going right, so you can pick up that missile. Red 13 will go left. Yuffie can go right. Kate Sith can go right. Vincent can go left. Why not? Why the hell not? All right, I'm heading left. Sure, it doesn't actually matter, I feel like. Uh, so, oh, you know, I probably should have sent Tifa right and everybody else left so I could switch up my party however I wanted, but I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, we're about coming to the end of the episode here anyway. Now, don't any of you die on me. Gotta get through to Sephiroth. Now they're all gonna... I'll destroy that Sephiroth before anyone gets to him. No, I, I doubt that's actually true, Sid. I feel like that's not actually what's gonna happen, but it's all over now with this. With this, I get an anime ass run. And I'll see y'all later. Oh man, Materia, y Materia Hunter Yuffie. Sounds like the last chapter of Materia Forever. Is that like a manga you made up, or...? Get out of here, you're all... It's supposed to be all epic and climactic, and you guys are just fucking it up. Fucking it up. I'm so happy to have met y'all, really. Ah, uh, yeah, me too. I like how Katesith is the one that's actually serious. Well, Vincent was pretty serious, too. Let's all go back alive, okay? And she's, I'm going to assume, just gonna run off like everyone else. And then I think Barrett and Katesith don't say anything, or uh, Red 13, rather, don't say anything. This will be the end of it. 
yeah, they don't say anything because we just run in. So, uh, alright, so we are off. We are gonna go fight that Sephiroth. Another fork in the road. Which way are you gonna choose? Uh, I think we just say everyone go up. Because we can really go whichever way we want. And we don't we don't want to keep splitting up our party. No, no real reason to be doing that, I feel like. Could be wrong about that, but I think that's fine. Sephiroth's probably crapping his pants right about now. Yep, probably. Let's go. Swish, cape flick. It's too cool for me. Wait, Sephiroth. Alright, I feel like the dialogue's just kind of falling apart at this point. Anyway, guys, that'll be the end of this episode. We're going to continue into the Northern Cave uh, at the next episode. I don't know if we have enough time in the next episode to make it to the end. I feel like we'll probably do, I think, probably two more episodes in the series uh, before this is over. But I hope you guys will stay tuned for that. Once again, as always, thank you. Whoops, got my controller. <laughs> Once again, as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.